G'day everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today we're going to dive into something that really interests me, um, you know, to be honest, in terms of you know, how you can detect abnormal patterns or abnormal behavior in, in your data. And so I think about this from a uh, commercial perspective and I think, well, if, I, if say for instance we're looking at a customer data set and we, we, we say, okay, well, this is just on average how much this customer is buying and then all of a sudden we see this massive increase in um, and, you know their buying patterns or their behavior in buying well we want to know about that and maybe understand it and understand why why are they you know purchasing a lot more than usual or why are they purchasing a lot less than usual and then we could have say alerts or we could have um, we could have something in our CRM system which um, says to the sales uh, sales teams you know go and target this person or go and understand what's going on etc etc and go and offer um, discounts more co coupons etc and so the, those are really powerful actionable insights right and so I love showcasing these sort of things and this is what I really like about um, you know just analysis in general the, the power you can extract the really the real value you can extract um, you know from from your analysis and power bi is just like the most amazing tool to be able to do this and especially using dax formula um, so what i've done here is i'm going to just showcase one example of how you can do something like this that i thought was quite insightful now we can look at our um, data set and say okay well on average how much do our customers purchase per quarter right and so this this could be interesting you know if say say you're a an online retailer or you know you're a supermarket or something like that you could say okay well on average our customers purchase this much per quarter you be a loyalty program is another one that comes to mind you could be an airline so on and so forth uh, so we could say, okay, well, per quarter, this is how much uh, customers buy of us. In this case, I've just worked out well how many, what on, on it, the average amount of transactions that a customer does with us. And then we could say, okay, well, in each individual quarter, or say in the latest quarter, how much did they actually purchase versus what they purchased on average? And so that's going to showcase an abnormal pattern of behavior, right? So if they've purchased way more or way less than on average what they would purchase, then that's um, you know that, that that's something that we need to follow up on or, or at least understand, right? So first of all, we've actually got to find the insight. So how do they actually do it? So well, first of all, I wanted to calculate well what is the average um, products bought in a particular quarter, right? And so uh, first of all, we've got to work out well unique products bought because we've got to say okay for each individual customer, how many individual um, products did they buy and so we can work that out by saying okay for any context for any um, customer context work out the distinct count of the product ID right so our product ID is in the sales table and so that's going to give us every single uh, unique product a customer has bought in the current context so in this case it's quarter one 2017 and um, Aaron Aaron Day bought one product in this quarter for example Okay, and then so what I can then do is then I work out, okay, well, what is the um, average board in that quarter? Well, in this case, um, this is going to uh, produce that, that particular insight, right? It's going to say, okay, on average, this is how much um, this particular customer has bought. Then, um, actually, just thinking about it, you probably don't actually need this average X values. But what you do need is if, if that's unselected, then you want to make sure that that's actually producing the average uh, products bought in a particular quarter. So, no, you do want that. So, say, for instance, I select one there. And then I want to work out, okay, well, we've got to compare it to something, right? We need, a, we need a benchmark so we can understand what is abnormal. And so what I did then was I said, okay, well, calculate exactly that same insight, but don't look at any particular date okay so release any context on date and so what that's going to do is it's going to return the average products or in unique products in every single quarter for that particular customer so this is how we achieve that particular insight right and then now we have two values so i make a if i make a selection inside of say quarter two 2017 remember this average products bought all quarters is never going to change because of the um, all dates that removes any filter that we showcase from dates but with every selection we make this average products bought in that particular quarter is going to change and that's how we can then show okay well what is abnormal versus what is not and then we can put them into say a scatter chart i think this is the perfect chart for this type of analysis and we can very quickly see okay well um, let's have a look at our clients over on this side of, um, of of the visualization. We can say, okay, well, this is how many products they have bought in that particular quarter versus how much on average they buy. 
And so this, this is where the abnormal behavior is going to be, um, uh, you, we're going to see it. And this is where we could say, okay, well, the, these customers, and you know, they've really increased their purchasing. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? Why, why are they doing that? Um, you know, there may be some real um, actionable insight or, or uh, actionable thing you could do um, to work that out, and you could try and replicate that and increase, um, you know, and increase the sales of people who are not um, producing any abnormal behaviour, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So really, really powerful stuff, right? And it's just seriously amazing what you can do in, in DAX. It never ceases, um, and, and in Power BI, it never ceases to amaze me the insights that you can find. Okay, so I'm going to round things off there. Hopefully, you found this one um, you found this one useful. I mean, hopefully, you can find a way to f- detect these abnormal patterns of behaviour. Um, I I can see this being the first uh, first video of many around this because this is just basically one insight that is detecting behaviour. Uh, but uh, just think about anything. I mean, you could um, you could do it from a products um, a context, a regional context, a date context. Uh, just just so many so many insights so so I'm really excited about this sort of um, derivative of um, of insights that you can discover inside of Power BI okay all the best and I'll speak to you soon hey everyone thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV if you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial please throw the video a like it really helps us and we really appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel Uh, We have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.